Cami from the Blog Tidbits. Now for our Handmade Christmas Home series today, I am going to be making a garland for our tree. And it's going to be made out of this um, faux aged Christmas sheet music that we will make into a paper chain. I think it's super cute. Of course, this is gonna be extremely affordable. It's just very basic household supplies. I'll show you how to make this and then I am going to need all hands on deck <laughs> from my family because this might take a while. But I'm really excited to see how this looks on our tree. Um, and I think it'll just add a bit of character and be a sweet memory for us to do together. So let's talk about the supplies you're going to need. So the most important thing is to get you some sheet music. And I'm sure you could pick this up anywhere, but I just printed it out online. I actually found this Etsy shop that had um, just the perfect printables of tons of Christmas songs. I think it was like five or eight dollars for just a whole big pack. And I printed out several of each of the songs, so I had several copies. But what to look for, um, at least if you want to do it like I'm doing it, is for a place to cut and separate so that you have like a staff of music on each little ring. So I liked that this music clearly had places where I could cut and separate each little measure into a song. So the other thing you'll need is milk. Now this is how we're going to get this aged look in the oven. And we'll just brush it on. So if you have a paintbrush that would work, I have these kitchen pastry brushes that I'm going to use. And then you'll want some sheet pans to lay your paper down in the oven to darken it. The other thing I'm going to use is I have a wet rag here and I'll show you what I'm going to need that for. But that's it as far as supplies, very basic. Okay, so we'll just do this top page first. What child is this? So you can get a paper cutter and cut this out, but I wanted a little more character, um, but not too much so that I think tearing, tearing would make it a little too uneven. So I'm using a wet rag to just fold where I want it torn and I wet both sides. And then it kind of tears off easily, leaving you kind of this rustic edge. So I just do that wherever I want to have that torn. Okay, as you can see, I have my strips of paper here and I'll fill this pan all the way up. But the next step is to take your milk and liberally brush it all over this paper. You only need to do um, the front side. And if you just want like a little aging, you could probably do just a little bit of milk, but I'm gonna go for it and do a lot. So what the milk does is it is what makes it darken. It kind of cooks on there. Um, it gives it a really cool aged effect. All right, now we're gonna get it into the oven. And I actually have it set on broil because I want that top heat getting really good. Now, I watch it super close. <laughs> You're putting paper in the oven. I don't think anything bad will happen, but you wanna just watch really, really close and make sure that um, it doesn't get too burnt, too brown. Once it starts turning brown, you wanna get it out as soon as possible. So um, sometimes I close it and then I keep a really close eye on it. And as soon as it starts to brown, I'll open it and take it out. So it takes really just a few minutes. I can already see them starting to dry um, and kind of curl up. So I'll give this a few minutes.
Okay, here's how they turned out. And they're nice and crispy, and they usually just peel right off the pan. Um, and then you can set them aside until you're ready to start stapling them together for the paper chain. Pretty cool. Christmas sheet music paper chain is finished and I think it turned out so cute. We actually went and got our tree this weekend so we were able to put up some of the things that I've been making and of course there's more in store so I hope you stick around and subscribe and follow us along for that. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve so <laughs> keep coming back. Um, if you want to spend a little more time with me today go ahead and shop with me at tidbitsandcompany.com I've got my 2023 planners available to purchase now. I've got linen stockings. I've got linen ribbon, which are all beautiful things for the holidays. And some great gift ideas like linen tea towels, um, linen and lavender eye pillows and sachets. Anyway, go and take a look over at tidbitsandcompany.com. And then, of course, this project and tutorial will be in written and photo form on my blog at tidbits cammycom Thanks so much for being with me today, and I'll be back to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home and for your handmade Christmas home. We'll talk soon.